Hey guys, so um, today is another beautiful day to be alive. Uh, if you can hear me clearly, just uh, give me a thumbs up sign. Today I am going to be sharing uh, with you on the strategy of follow up. The strategy of follow up that can help you to make a lot more sales from your book. Um, so if you can hear me, uh, let me know. All right, so let's shoot into it. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how you're going to use the strategy of follow-up to be able to market your book. So this is something that we, we do for those of us who are in network marketing. This is basically what we do in network marketing. So when people attend our presentations or they attend our seminars or we speak to them about our opportunities and they express a desire or um, not necessarily them attending our, our presentations, maybe... Um, we, we are having conversations with our colleagues and friends at the office um, and they express a desire to be part of our network marketing opportunity and then we invite them to presentations that most times are done digitally now or they attend at our physical locations um, on, during the weekend. That singular act of, the, of theirs shows that they have um, expressed a desire to join the company um, and start to utilize the opportunity. But the thing is that after such presentations, some of them do not sign up immediately. Absolutely happens like that. Some of them sign up instantly and some of them don't sign up right there on the spot, which is our desire. Our desire is that people attend our presentations and then when we are done presenting, they sign up right there on the spot. But that's an ideal situation. It happens. Um, usually we experience 1% or 10%, maximum 10% of signups um, from people who do it right there on the spot when we are done with our presentations. But the usual thing that happens is that some of them don't sign up for certain reasons, and I can share with you some of the reasons. Number one is that they don't have the money to sign up right there and there. So they are very excited about the opportunity they come, and then at the end of the day they're hearing that they need to sign up with 50,000, 100,000, 20,000, or even as high as 200,000 naira, as the case may be. If you are listening to me in the, in the US or in, the, in, in Britain, um, you can think in terms of 100 pounds or 1,000 pounds, as the case may be, to sign up to be part of the network marketing uh, company. They don't do that because they don't sign up because they don't have the money. The second reason is that they are not really convinced after the presentation because um, you need to understand that people get convinced if, we're, if you are able to hit at their soft spot that really addresses their problems, you know, that emotional touch point in their lives that will make them to say, yes, I need to be part of this um, particular opportunity. So some of them don't sign, don't sign up because during the presentation, they may not have had that particular thing happening to them, that epiphany that makes them to say, yes, this is the opportunity I've been looking for. The third thing that makes them not to sign up is procrastination. So they say, yes, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. You know, so they keep saying, I will, I will, I will, but they don't yet get to sign up uh, within the time frame that you're expecting them to sign up. The other reason could be that they need more knowledge. And yes, we all need more knowledge, you know, because we don't want to do things blindly, especially in a culture where there's a lot of distrust and a lot of individuals are doing things just because they want to make money, right? So they want to learn, they want to get a new, more, uh, more information, they want to ask their friends, they want to go on the internet and browse about the opportunity, hear from other individuals, and then decide to be part of the opportunity. So these are the reasons that make people not to sign up. But your desire, every network marketing uh, professional, our desire is that people sign up to be part of our opportunity so that we can grow our teams so that their lives can also be touched and then they can also touch other people's lives. That's our desire every time that we do a presentation. But the thing is that people do not sign up every time that we do presentation. Then it's just normal because of these reasons and so many other reasons that we do not know. So what do we do as network marketing professionals? What we do is to utilize the strategy of follow-up. And it is in the follow-up that some of them sign up to be part of the opportunity. And so what do we do during follow-ups? We share with them our own stories, right? Our own success stories, how we are doing well in the network marketing company. Then we share with them painful scenarios. For example, COVID-19 came with a lot of painful um, consequences for a lot of individuals. The ones that we have been 
sharing with them how they have to start to have more than two sources of income or three sources of income by looking at network marketing opportunities as one opportunity for them to add to their income streams. Um, so when we share with them right now about how COVID has really affected their incomes, some of them start to pay attention to say, yes, I think this is the time this is making sense. We need to be part of this thing that this guy has been saying, right? Some other things that was one other thing that we do is that we send them our weekly alerts. So um, when we make money and we earn on on for my for example my company we make money every Thursday they send us alerts every Thursday we send to them and tell them this is this could have been you right this could have been you if you had been part of us we would have received money on Thursday we would have received money this week and we call every Thursday Evergreen Thursday so you must have been you will be receiving alerts every every Thursday if you do everything that we tell you to do within the opportunity right the next thing that we also do is that we share with them other people's stories so we tell them how some individuals who are not making money got into the opportunity and they started making money we share with them even the deaf and blind people who are part of the opportunity who are who are defying the odds to do the things they are doing and they're making money we share with them other people's stories because people tend to believe when they see stories of other individuals who are like them who are experiencing certain issues like them and those individuals are climbing above the odds to do what they are doing to make um, to become successful and you know helping their lives so when people see other individuals uh, the stories of other individuals who are like them they tend to believe that the opportunity works and then they come to, to come in what we do consistently is follow up follow up consistently and for someone like me um, because this is me i don't really like going banging on people's doors when people attend my presentations what i do is to bring them into a list into a whatsapp list and i keep sending them messages having conversations with them up until the time that they sign up the thing you need to understand that some people will sign up after a week some will sign up after a month some will sign up six months i signed up into my network marketing opportunity after six months after three years so you can imagine that my leader was after me persistently for three good years to be able to sign up and right now she's i'm enjoying the opportunity she is very happy that she was able to get me on board so when i see people um on this journey and they just give up you need to understand that consistency is key you need to be consistent consistent at what you do consistent at marketing consistent at presenting your opportunities and that's how the results come persistence is key and so for me uh, when it comes to books this is a very typical way that i can share with you that you can utilize this strategy of follow-up to be able to get a lot more people to buy your book so i just share with you a typical scenario so when you have done with the design of your book i will advise you to do two designs of your book two or three designs of your book so that people can choose then you set up your pre-order link all right or your pre-order process it could be a link that they can pay pay stack flutter wave whatever it is that you've set up or they can want to pay you to the bank but make sure that you've set up the pre-order for them to pre-order the book when you're having these conversations so the first step is to set up the pre-order page or whatever process that you want to utilize to be able to get your money second thing is to do three designs of your book and put them out there on any social media channel that you're using facebook instagram and a simple way that you can do that a simple sentence or simple statement that you can say say hey guys so i've been writing this book and now the design is out and i'm particularly confused about the kind of design to use but because i want to serve you guys right i want to hear from you which design will really suit you if you never knew who i was if you walk into a bookshop and see my books sitting down on a shelf what will make you want to pick the book so I want you to guys to help me now to choose a design out of these two designs or three designs. And I really not want you to share with me reasons that will make you um, make that choice. Very simple. You make the post, put it out there, put the two designs or three designs and publish the post. People will go in the comment section and start to tell you things about the book, their choices and all that. That is where you have to start the conversations. As they are making their choices, you start to have the conversations with a very simple script that I'm going to share with you right here in the community, how I do it. I'm not going to share it in this video, but right here in the community, I'm going to put it as a PDF so that you can see very simple conversation. But the conversation must have two key elements, must have the benefits and must have urgency in it. So a particular example can be somebody says, I choose A because A is blah, blah, blah. You can go in and say, thank you for choosing option A. I'm very, very delighted that you choose option A. But here's the deal. Um, that I want to make with you today. 
um, I have already set up the pre-order for this book. And if you're going to get this book between now and you, you put your date, this is what you're going to benefit by getting this book. You put your benefits. One, two, three. Remember all the bonuses and all the things that you want to give to people by virtue of the fact that they have bought your book. That is where you put all the benefits. So you list, and I say maximum, at least minimum should be about five benefits. So you put the benefits, blah, 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 like that. And then you tell them the urgency, meaning that if they get this, this is what they're going to get within the time frame that you've set. So you see how it is? Very simple conversation. And that's it. I'm going to put the script for you so you can utilize it. But remember that the conversations must have two things. The benefits of getting the book. And secondly, the urgency must be in there. Because if you let them lag, they will fall into procrastination. And they will keep saying, I will do, I will do, I will do. And then they may not do it. So you need to know that you must put the element of urgency right there into what it is that you are sharing with them as a conversation right so depending on the outcome of the of the conversation you will now have a list of pre-qualified people and what i mean by this is that comments will happen on your timeline and comments will happen on other people's timelines for your own timeline as people are having the conversations it's very easy so if it's on facebook and they you have made the post and they have come there and, and they are placing all their comments there all you need to do is to save the post, right? You can save Facebook post so that it can go back. So when you go back, from time to time, you have, you have to initiate conversations with them. So if somebody had expressed the desire to buy and later did not buy, you need to go there and make a conversation, a pretty conversation, simple conversation can be, I noticed that you wanted to buy my book the last time. I I, I, you expressed a desire to buy my book the last time. What could have happened? Did you have issues with the link? Or what made you to, because I noticed that you did not pre-ordered. Can you have a conversation with me now so that I can understand what your problem is? And the individual can say, oh, okay, money, oh, okay, time. Oh, I forgot. Because I've seen a lot of individuals forget to buy my books even when they desire to buy it. Because we human beings, we are all on a daily basis bombarded by a lot of things. And right now, a lot of individuals are busy with their jobs, busy with their businesses. They may not really remember. And it's not a fault of theirs. So your role is to make them remember by virtue of those conversations that you are having with them. That is very, very simple for you to understand, right? So you have those conversations. So the conversations that are not happening on your timeline, for example, somebody posted about your book, right? And somebody came in there and made a comment. Your role is to document those individuals. And it is a strategy we also utilize in network marketing because when we want to reach out to so many individuals, our phone is the first port of call. We take all the people in our phones and we start to write their names down. Write their names, write their friends down, write, write their, you know, the friends of their friends. Because we need to reach out to people like them, people of like minds, and present the opportunity to them. Very simple. So the same thing with your book, right? So when people have expressed desire on other people's timelines that you cannot be reaching all the time, you note these people and then you enter in box. To go and have a conversation with them. And a pretty good way to start it is, I noticed that you placed a comment on, you mentioned the person's name so that the individual can understand. Um, you have expressed desire to get the book. I, I'm here, right here in the book, to have, in your inbox to have a conversation with you. And then you talk about the benefits of the book. And then you tell them the urgency of the time and all that kind of stuff. Or you may not launch, you may not load them with all that information, you know, at, at first. You can just go have a chit chat, how are you, and all that. And then you tr introduce your book in the conversation that can lead to a sale you need to understand this these conversations are the things that can lead to sales right so for your post save them right for your post save them for the posts for other individuals make sure that you write names of these individuals down so that you can have conversations with them in box where it's private right but the thing is this even with all the conversations that you're going to do with will everybody buy no not everybody is going to buy but your job is to consistently have these conversations that can bring the sales. That is your job, right? You consistently have those conversations that will lead to sales. That is your job and that is what you need to start to do consistently, all right? So um, you do this and I'm going to put the um, conversation script for you so that you can tweak it to the way that you like and utilize it for yourself and you keep making those conversations right keep going back to posts one of the things that i do basically is that when people when i ask people to make uh, a post about my book i tell them to tag me on facebook because when they tag me on facebook right 
um, the, you have to, you can go to the tag section all the time and you can see all the posts of people who have tagged you even to four or five years back so what I do basically is that I go back to all those posts that people have tagged me on and I start to search the comment section and I see individuals you may have missed that said oh I need this book I want to buy this book I need it and then you go back and start having conversations with them in the comments and then the inbox and then that can get them to buy so your role, as I said, is to keep on having these conversations, keep on following up because it's in the follow up that the sales will happen. This strategy of follow up is where the sales can happen, right? And then you can have, a, you know, increase the number of sales that you are, you are getting. So I hope that this was of great value to you. I hope that you can utilize this strategy that we are utilizing in network marketing to get people to sign up into our teams, to get people to buy copies of your book. This journey is not to the faint hearted because if you really want to make money from your books, you need to step up the game and still keep having those conversations. There's no slacking. There's no slumbering. Your role on a daily basis, if you are going to market your book and make money from it, is to keep having those conversations and having the follow up. And I look forward to you having more conversations about your book and more sales happening for your book. Your book we sell. All the way from me here in the city of Port Harcourt, thank you for being part of this. And yes, I'm repping this company, Nature Fest. I don't know if you know, um, I'm the brand ambassador for four different companies. And Nature Fest is one of them. Everything that has to do with spices and supplements that are organic. You need to live a healthy life. You need to be part of this great team, this great company. So, Nature Fest, thank you for having me I'm, as a brand ambassador. And I'm here sharing with you, our guys here in the community about the company all right so thank you for being here god bless you I'll see you again in another teaching ciao ciao